regardless of team one of the main reasons why morocco were able to do so well in in the world cup in such a stacked uh, tournament he, he was a, sh a shining light and you know straight away after the world cup there were rumors of oh he's going to this club he's going to that club which club is going to be the first to sign him and for us to now finally have a player of this quality is like united are brewing something special they are still of course okay it is time that we talk about amrabat what a player manchester united were able to sign here for the longest time i did not think that we were going to get this deal done so you know if you're going to criticize the if you're going to criticize our transfer policies let's also you know uh, reward them or give them a round of applause when they do something right because the signing of amrabat is essential to the way Ten Hag wants to play and what Manchester United can possibly go on to do uh, this season. And the expectation is, of course, a bit higher than last season, as it always is. You know, Ten Hag showed us how good he is and how good he can make this team. So us as fans are expecting something a bit more and Amrabat is the start of that. So without wasting any more time, guys, let's get straight into it. Let's react to Amrabat and let's see how good he is and what he brings to this United team most importantly. Again, Luti, a great channel. I'll, I'll leave his link in the description if you want to go and check him out afterwards. But Amrabat, it's like, even for United, it's hard to... And you're seeing here already defensively. It's hard to talk about this United team. It's hard to talk about this United team's first few games into the season without talking about how poor our midfield has been. And you're looking at just straight away in this first, what? In this first 30 seconds of, of the video, how good Amrabat is defensively. You know, we already have a, a, a midfielder. And look at this goal as well. Wow. Fantastic. We already have a midfielder in Casemiro who is a defensive machine, arguably the best defensive midfielder in the world. And then you add in Amrabat, who is also a defensive, uh, defensive uh, titan, someone who's able to break up play. But then, in my opinion, something that Amrabat is going to add to this team that's very important is his quality on the ball. It's his long-range passing, his short, his short, his short passing. Uh, excuse me, his link-up play, his ability to drive with the ball. He's such a complete midfielder. And similarly to what I said about Alessandro Martinez and Casemiro last year, in the fact that they were going to be two of our most important players, Amrabat, by the end of the season, United fans are going to fall in love with this guy. To go from Fred and McTominay to go to Casemiro, and Amrabat is going to be, I want to say, borderline life-changing to this club. And then to go from Casemiro and Mount at the start of the season, or Casemiro, Mount and Bruno, which was a mess, you know, to Casemiro, Amrabat and Bruno Fernandes, this midfield is one of the best in the league now you know and then you've of course already made my hoyland video but two videos on hoyland already but you have hoyland coming in which is going to help this attack the fluidity of the attack is going to help bruno and rashford mainly if you can get anthony and such beginning to perform this united team is a, a, a team that a team that can do special things this year hopefully and then you have a manager in eric tanak who's a genius I, I'm so excited for this signing. This is my favorite United signing this summer. You know, I also really liked um, Onana, but I'm just looking at what this team needs and what Amrabat adds to the team. And it's very hard for me to not get excited. Pause. I just went on this rant for like two minutes, but I just had to get this out of my chest because I love Amrabat. Uh, since the World Cup, what he was doing for Morocco. Oh my goodness, this man was something else. Was one of the players of the tournament, regardless of team, one of the main reasons why Morocco were able to do so well in, in the World Cup in such a stacked uh, tournament. He, he was a, sh a shining light and you know straight away after the world cup there were rumors of oh he's going to this club he's going to that club which club is going to be the first to sign him and for us to now finally have a player of this quality is like united are brewing something special there are still of course problems are up top with the owners and etc and we'll see how that develops but at least from um a footballing side at least from looking to the, at, at this team from what we can do this season i think there are things look at this pause oh my god <laughs> from a footballing side 
side, there are definitely things that we can begin to look at and be excited for. Traveling ability, fantastic. Uh, you have to almost fall him to get him off the ball. You, it, you, what we're going to see this year, especially, I want to see this, especially in the big games, when we're going up against a Man City or an Arsenal. I'm not saying we're going to beat them straight away, but I think for the first time, for the first time in a long time, this United midfield will be able to compete against the likes of Man City, against the likes of Arsenal, against the likes of, you know, just the best teams around the world because we now have a world-class midfield. We have a midfield that works extremely hard in Casemiro, Amrabat and Bruno, but then also on the board there's so much quality with those three. And again, hopefully Rashford and Holland can be something special to, you know, aid this midfield into, you know, scoring goals because that's the end goal at the end of the day. But yeah, I'm very, I'm very happy and positive and excited because we have a midfield here. We have a midfield here that can compete against the very best. Amrabat and Casemiro just defensively are able to go up against anyone and then when, when they have the ball at their feet, when it's time to build up play, we can also do it. We can play the Tenag way, we can play the Tenag brand of football. <coughs> Tenag, of course, wanted Frankie de Jong, but, you know, that wasn't a possibility anymore. Ten de Jong doesn't want to come, but uh, de Jong has, of course, become an essential player of uh, Barcelona. So I think I need to make a video of Frankie de Jong very soon. I can't forget to do that. But de Jong is one of, in my opinion, one of the very best midfielders in the world and people don't talk about him enough, especially what he was able to do last year with Xavi and helping that team to win the league. But that's that's a video for another day. But he of course wanted De Jong, but in getting Amrabat, I don't think it's that much of a drop-off. I, I, I think it is somewhat of a drop-off because I, I rate De Jong very highly, but I don't think it's that much of a drop-off. Especially considering that, as I said a few years ago, we were playing with McTominay and Fred. And now we <laughs> yes, finally have... I'm about to cast me <laughs> <laughs> oh, Look at him how he, how he just gets the guy off the ball. Such a quality player, man. I was meant to make it out. There was supposed to be a Amrabat video earlier on in the week. I'm kind of glad it didn't happen because, you know, certain copyrighted and YouTube uh, things didn't quite work well. So we have to, we, I had to wait till Sunday to make another video. A and it's worked out. It's worked out because the Sunday came through and I can talk about Amrabat a bit more openly. I can talk about Amrabat more in the United context because there's also rumors that he was going to Liverpool. <clears throat> but he didn't end up going to Liverpool because the case of that I also want to talk about the Tenag pool. We were having this discussion on the player's choice, on the player's choice uh, footy, and we're also having this discussion on the bridge. Go and check out player's choice and the bridge, of course. But we're having those discussions mainly me, Yusuf, and the bridge. And they were talking about, oh, why does Tenag only go for players that he knows or players he's only worked before? And here you have the reason why. It's much easier to convince a player that you've worked be with before. It's much easier to put that play into a system that you already know of course you, sh you shouldn't just go for those players but if the player's quality and the opportunity is there i don't see why not i think it's actually a very good strategy if it doesn't uh, if it doesn't pan out that way like you know you know i, I don't want to say anthony because anthony i'll give him another year but if it doesn't pan out then we can have that conversation but at least from a potential point of view i'm about to potential is looking through the reef at the minute now you're looking at the Champions League games, you're looking at the Champions League games where we go up against the best teams in Europe and I'm no longer afraid of this midfield. Even our defence, if, if we can somewhat look like what we did last year in that game against Liverpool, that game against Arsenal, the game against City, we've beat the top clubs in the league last year. If our defence can be solid like that once again with Lisandro Martinez, uh, Varane, Onana and then whoever else plays, Daloid, Wan-Bissaka, Regulon, if we can be solid again and have this midfield and then have Rashford and Hoyland cooking up front, I'm not going to say that we're going to win the Champions League, but we can definitely make a run at least to the quarterfinals. I've done it. Like, it's we're nine minutes in and I've done so much talking and there's still so much stuff I want to say. I don't think I've ever done so much talking in such a long video. And that's just because I'm so excited for this play to come to the team. And then you're seeing here as well some of these shots. He's not scoring all of them, but Amrabat has also that ability to score goals from um, out of the box. He's got range, and you're looking at these pings like his passing ability is, is, is very versatile. He's got good vision then, then the execution and quality, technical ability to pull something off like that. Such a fantastic player, man. 
United have made a lot of mistakes by signing Amrabat. Maybe we should have signed him a bit earlier. I'll give him a bit of, of pushback because of that. Because he could have be, he could have played in those first three games of the season. We've lost points there. Points that we can no longer get back. But um but you you can only work with with what you have, and at the minute it, it looks good. It looks very good. Again, I'll leave the link to Luti's channel in the description. Um, of course, as per usual, the video is coming to an end. And yeah, let me let me know. <laughs> I've been, I've done so much talking. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Amrabat. Are you excited? You know, etc. etc. Let me know what you guys think. But this is the end of the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching until the end. You much appreciated. Please leave a like. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share. Do all those things to please help me grow this channel, guys. Once again, this is only the beginning of something special. And if you want daily football content, this is the place to be. I'll see you guys soon.